Have you ever had one of those oops moments where something breaks, like a mug, a phone case, or even a shoe, and you immediately reach for that tiny tube of super glue? It's one of those household heroes that somehow fixes almost everything in seconds. Just a single drop, a little pressure, and boom. It's like the thing was never broken in the first place. But have you ever stopped to think about why it works so fast? Or what actually makes super glue? Well, super. Let's dive into the fascinating story behind this sticky miracle right here on History of Simple Things. Super glue wasn't originally meant to fix anything. In fact, when it was first discovered, it was a total nuisance. Back in the 1940s, scientists were working on new materials for World War II. One of them, Dr. Harry Coover, was helping develop clear plastics for gun sights, something strong, precise, and heat resistant. But one of the chemicals they tested, called cyanoacrylate, turned out to be far too sticky. It glued everything it touched, even the lab equipment. So they tossed it aside and forgot about it. Years later in the early 1950s, Coover came across that same compound again while working on jet canopy materials. This time, instead of ignoring it, his team decided to test it properly. They placed a few drops between two glass surfaces and couldn't pull them apart. That's when it clicked. This so-called annoying substance was actually something incredible. It didn't need heat, pressure, or clamping. It just needed a little bit of moisture from the air. And in seconds, it created a bond so strong it could hold metals, plastics, and even human skin together. That accidental rediscovery led to what we now call super glue. So, What's the secret behind this instant bonding power? Superglue's main ingredient, cyanoacrylate, is a special chemical that reacts to water molecules. And here's the twist. Water is literally everywhere. Even the driest surfaces have microscopic layers of moisture on them, and the air around us is full of water vapor. When you squeeze out a tiny drop of superglue, it immediately starts reacting with that moisture. This triggers a chemical chain reaction called polymerization. In simple terms, the glue molecules snap together like puzzle pieces, forming long, strong chains that harden almost instantly. That's why it sets so fast and why it feels like it grabs onto anything it touches. If you've ever noticed, super glue doesn't feel sticky when it's still in the tube. It only becomes sticky the moment it touches air or skin. That's the reaction kicking in. Super fast and super strong. One surprising thing about super glue is that it actually works better when you use less of it. It might sound counterintuitive, but the thinner the layer, the stronger the bond. That's because a thin coating lets moisture reach every molecule of the glue evenly helping the chemical reaction spread out perfectly. A thick blob, on the other hand, traps the middle layer and slows everything down. So next time you're fixing something, just a few drops are enough. That's why professional repair shops and engineers use precision tips and tiny applicators. It's not about quantity, it's about contact. Now here's where the story takes an unexpected turn, from fixing objects to saving people. During the Vietnam War in the 1960s, field medics discovered that cyanoacrylate could be used to seal wounds quickly. Soldiers who were badly injured could have their cuts sealed temporarily with a spray version of superglue to stop bleeding until they reached a hospital. It wasn't perfect, it could irritate the skin, but it was life-saving in emergencies. That idea inspired researchers to create safer, medical-grade versions of the adhesive that could be used in surgeries and wound closures. Today, doctors still use similar formulations in hospitals for stitches and skin closures. They're sterile, flexible, 
and designed to work with the body's natural healing process. So yes, the same chemistry that fixes your cracked glasses once helped save lives on the battlefield. Most of us use super glue for quick repairs around the house, broken handles, loose decorations, shoes that need patching. But it's used in so many industries that we barely even notice. In electronics, super glue helps bond delicate components without adding heat. In automotive manufacturing, it's used to seal sensors and assemble small parts. And in woodworking, it can fill small cracks or even reinforce joints. Even musicians use it. Guitarists, for example, sometimes use a drop of super glue to protect their fingertips from splitting during long sessions. And here's a surprising one. Crime scene investigators use it too. They heat super glue in a chamber so that its vapors fill the air and attach to fingerprints on surfaces. The fumes react with the oils left behind, creating a white visible print that can be photographed and analyzed. So a small tube of glue that you can buy for a dollar can also help solve crimes. Pretty wild, right? For all its strengths, Super Glue does have limits. It's incredible at bonding smooth, non-porous materials like metal, glass, and plastic, but not so great on soft or flexible surfaces. It can't handle materials that absorb moisture too quickly like paper or fabric, because it hardens before it has time to soak in. It also doesn't like movement. Once it sets, the bond is strong but brittle. So if the parts you glued are constantly bending or flexing, the glue might crack and break off. And here's a fun safety note. Never pour super glue on cotton or wool. The reaction between the glue and natural fibers can actually create heat, sometimes enough to smoke or even ignite. That's why using it carefully, and in small amounts, really matters. Not all super glues are the same. Depending on the brand and formula, you can find versions that dry faster, stay flexible, or resist heat and shock. There are gel types that don't drip, perfect for vertical surfaces or tiny parts. There are also rubber toughened versions made to handle vibration like in cars or bikes. And of course, medical grade formulas are designed to be safe for skin. So the super part isn't just in the name, it's in how adaptable the chemistry is. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.